Hi, Devin. I shall be. Hi, Devin. I shall be. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. <laughs> so I think this is the first video I've made where you're talking in it. Yeah. Cameras make me uncomfortable. <laughs> and now you got these fancy lights pointing up at you and all that. <laughs> oh, Soak it in. <laughs> Tell me something random about you. Uh, Just anything. That's your opening question? Yeah, anything. I hate you. Anything. Maybe little awkward quirks. Um, try to avoid wearing shoes if at all possible. Something you used to be insecure about, but aren't anymore. Uh, I used to have like really, really big and bushy eyebrows when I was in school. People would make fun of me for it. Oh. I was too scared to get my eyebrows to want to hurt. Oh. These lights make you look so tan. <laughs> what do you remember about meeting, about us meeting each other? You weren't wearing a shirt when I met you, actually. <laughs> I feel like that says a lot about our friendship. <laughs> we, were, um, we were in the gym locker room in sophomore year, getting ready. I think we were getting ready to go to our next class, so we were getting dressed. And you said something, and I made some snarky-ass comment. <laughs> and that was kind of the beginning. Tell the story behind your tattoos. We'll show us in and tell the story. I first heard the expression the bees knees years years ago. And I just thought it would be a really cute tattoo. So it doesn't really have a specific story behind it. It's just one of those tattoos that you kind of get just to get. Where's my really bad bird? I went through a religious stint in school, which is not how I feel now. But I got it initially to mean the freedom of God, but there's a lot of other symbols behind it. Something that you've done that you're proud of. I won first place at Neptune Festival for photography when I was a like, junior. That was exciting because the first time I was ever in Neptune Festival or anything. Ooh, look at you! Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, your favorite place? My grandma Kathy. Her house is like up on this big hill, and her and my grandpa and like his dad, how much people like built it like from the ground up. So it's like it's two stories from the road, but from the other side, it's only one story because it's built into the hill. And then like if you go up, so it's like up a hill, and there's like another hill right behind it. And there's like this little tree. It's got like this really old bench under it. And I got there a lot over the summer. One thing you wish you could say to someone. She was, I was really close with her. And the last time I ever saw her, she was living in like one of those assisted living homes. Like she lived by herself and everything, but they had people like kind of help out every once in a while. So I used to go over there when my, when my other grandma was working and I visited, I visited them. And I remember when I left her house the last time that I saw her that summer, I was like, bye, I'll see you later. And then I never saw her again. So. Like, I just kind of wish that I could tell her that like, I love her and that I miss her. Okay. <laughs> your favorite part of your day? The open your window is really hot. Okay. I'm sweating. <laughs> Answer the question. Um, my favorite part of my day is... I think when I first wake up and it's really quiet and I can just kind of lay in bed all over my dreams or what I'm going to do for that day and it's all warm and you don't want to get up and it's just like bed. <laughs> and I think that's my favorite part of my day. Who is someone that is really important to you and why? Is it going to be really cheesy if I say you? Like is that allowed? Can I, say, can I do that? I don't know. I'm going to do it anyways. Oh. <laughs> Same like aside from like my obvious family members and everything. I spend all of my time with you. And this is really weird because you're sitting right here. <laughs> I feel like I can tell you anything and get along and I'm really tired of being with you. So I, I really don't know what I would do without you. We're married. <laughs> something, like, something irrelevant <laughs> to this touching moment that we were going to have until there was something on your foot. What was your favorite year of high school and why? Um, I think senior year. Like, junior year was really good, but I don't remember a whole lot about it. But I remember senior year. 
like I had early release and I wasn't stressed about anything other than yearbook. Oh my god, yearbook. What is one thing you want to do before you die? Um, before I die, I want to... Before I die, I want to... <laughs> um, I really want to ride a hot air balloon. What is something you love to do? All of the things. All of the things. All of Devin the things. does them. I do them all. I really like to make candy and chocolate and bake and make delicious things. We're married and you're 75. <laughs> Where do you see yourself? I'll still be living in Portland with you. Still, unless insinuating we're there. Unless it's married or moves out. Decides we hate each other. Or, you know, you die or something. <laughs> so I won't die. I'm, <laughs> I am Devin and I am immune to death. <laughs> okay, no, I'm definitely going to be back in school. <laughs> getting a business degree. What is one of your biggest fears? Somebody getting into my house. I was always afraid somebody was going to come in and like start and like ransack each bedroom and like I, would, I wasn't going to be able to do anything to stop it. Aww. What is an item that is important to you? Um, I have a picture that I keep in my wallet of me and my great grandpa when I was really little and I was wearing like this mint colored like Minnie Mouse like sweatshirt with matching sweatpants and I was sitting on his lap in this chair and it was like his chair that he was always sitting in. And it's like my only picture that I have of him slash with him. Uh, what is something that you really want right now? Right now. I really want a smoothie. <laughs> I want a strawberry banana smoothie so bad. We got you a milkshake. I didn't have strawberry banana smoothies at all. I just want, want a smoothie. smoothie. Uh, what is a movie that really that that resonated with you? An American Crime. Like that movie. Movies don't ever upset me or make me cry, and I cried like three times watching American Crime. Think of an important event that's happened in your life. Think of it. It is in your mind. Just say it out loud. Okay. Now, how do you think you do? You think you would be any different if that event had not happened? Um. When I was 14, I got my biological father to finalize my adoption, so that way I could legally change my last name to Maud from Mingling. And that event in itself, I don't think really changed me, really changed who I am. But I think the events leading up to it did. Like, we always had a very strained relationship. And I had a lot of animosity towards him for a long time. And I think that me getting older and like forgiving him for that, kind of trying to move past it and be friends with him. Like the whole, the whole process of our relationship of me growing up and everything and dealing with that. I think taught me to be a very forgiving person. Well, if it, if it hadn't happened, I think we would have been battling on continuously much longer to for my adoption to be finalized, and I probably would have been a much more negative person for it because I was always very angry about the whole situation. What is something that inspires you, and why? Rain. Okay, that sounds really cliche. But like whenever it starts raining, like I feel like weird and artsy and I like want to sit down and do things and write and read and draw. If you could have one wish, what would it be? If you could wish for anything. Well, I'm not going to say that I would wish for like world peace or any of that. <laughs> I'm selfish and if I really had one wish, I would just wish that I could continue living my life doing something that I really love to do. That would, and it would be financially adequate for me. <laughs> What is something that you strongly believe in? Um, <laughs> I really believe that everybody should, I know it's going to sound really stupid, like everybody should treat other people well, even if they don't deserve it. Because I, I, I really believe in, I really believe in karma, is what it boils down to. Because there's got to be a reason they're angry. Do you have any parting words for us? always tip your waitress the shittiest <laughs> job in the world. <laughs> it's really hard. So true. And we don't make any money. <laughs>